quick update here guys sorry I've been busy messing around but I had an issue obviously I think the day before I started to do that burnout you can hear it hammering a little bit I could hear it tapping when I was leaving and there it is good old uh, spare parts motor over there which is kind of a shame I didn't really have any issues other than it seems like I emptied my oil pan all I did was take out all the bearings. There was really no other issues. And it's kind of sad. I threw out most of the bearings, but they're all just done. All of the rods and everything are straight is what's nice. And what I did is I ended up picking up a aluminum 5.3. This is a 2008 LC9. I'm unsure why it's designated like that, but it's a displacement on demand 5.3 that's aluminum. You can see uh, it's got the Gen 4 lettering back there. So this has the DOD cover. I just uh, bought a LS3. My buddy had an LS3 Lifter Valley cover here, sold to me. And then I gotta get a gasket. I don't have the gasket for this. I have all Gen 3 shit. So this has the knock sensors on the outside also. I started putting my turbo kit on it and figured I better make a video update before the damn thing's in and running already. And then what else is, my compression tester got like a little bit galled up in that drawer there. And I ended up taking out the, on the cylinder heads here, and the spark plug holes, they got all funny and I never have a problem with my spark plug holes. So I didn't want to deal with that at all, so I ended up swapping the heads. Now this is another set of 862 is basically a 706 is made by an outside vendor. It's the same thing as an 862 though. So I basically have the same motor going together. I have a, an interesting thing. I always wanted to try 317s. Uh, people used to always do this, put 317s on their dished piston 5.3 and knock their compression ratio down into the shit. And it would be a turd, but it would be okay on, you know, 20, 30 pounds of boost. Well, the flat top motor with the short cylinder head, the 862, is nice it's like in the mid tens i think compression depending on your head gasket and some other bullshit but a flat top cylinder and a 862 head gives you you whack the throttle and you get it's it feels very snappy and then boost comes in and then it's even nicer so it's well worth it and the tuning is pretty much the same i mean you're not really giving up anything by adding compression so it's not like old school train of thought where you have to make your compression like seven and a half to one to run a blower because they simply couldn't tune and everything that well. Technology wasn't there, etc. So I'm gonna try this aluminum motor. It'll be interesting because it's gonna drop 125 pounds, people say, on average off the front end, which will be incredible because the car was 2,900, so it'll be into the 28s then. It'll be pretty crazy. Maybe even 27 something something. That'll be cool. Maybe I'll pump out a half tank of gas before I weigh it. But I'm gonna drop this guy in and I'm gonna run the stock pan actually now. It hangs a little bit lower. My cut pan obviously is for clearance, but I got a little bit taller coil spring, a 14 inch spring instead of a 12 inch spring. I'm just gonna pick the nose up a little bit. I always had truck pans on before and didn't have a problem really. So I'll just, you know, take it easy. I won't, I'll drive like I got a lowered Volkswagen and be careful, but I don't see it being too much of an issue. If it is, I'll get an F body pan or something or try this pan again, but I'm kind of nervous to try anything from the old setup, like carry something over and ruin something. The other motor back behind there, the cam is stuck in the block. Half of the damn cam bearing stuck to the cam so you can't pull it out. So I bought another trick flow cam to try it out since I'm, I'm, I like that other 216, 220, which is stuck in that motor. So I tried their 228, 230, 114 LSA this time, same pack springs. And this has a 58 tooth reluctor wheel and I'm running the 24X front. So I'm gonna get MS3 to work with that and then I'll have a base tune for a 58 tooth gen four motor also. So it'll be interesting to see since the motor is basically the same, it was just iron. Same compression ratio, same head, same turbo, as long as my turbo survives. Well, you know, it might, it's Chinese, it's robust. <laughs> it's not sensitive. So hopefully the oil that went through it, it just laughed about it and watched the glitter pass and it's okay. And I can see what this cam does difference wise in spool or power on the top end and uh, see how it sounds and everything else. But I plan to at least drop this guy in tonight, 
try to get my transmission and stuff bolted in and go from there. We will see how I do, but wanted to make that quick update.